I'm Brett Greenstein, and I'm the Senior Vice President in charge of AI Analytics and Data at Cognizant. I think it comes first from people, recognizing that data has value. Data is not something to be managed or limited. It's not a cost, although there's a cost to it. It's really about recognizing that data has value and thinking about the outcomes of your business and how they are enhanced with data. And I think so many people are so used to business decisions and business models that are tied to their legacy systems or their systems of record. And they think they have all the data they need to run their business. But in reality, there's so much more data outside of your enterprise. And as soon as you become data aware, data mature, you start to consider all of that data in helping to shape your decisions. It changes the way you look at data. So many companies have started on data governance from the point of view of privacy, security, compliance, and those are really important things to work on. But what I'm seeing increasingly is the role of the chief data officer and the governance that they establish in the enterprise, elevating so much more beyond security, compliance, and IT, but really focused on unlocking value of data, on knowing how to manage data, which are trusted sources from outside to bring in, considering data perishability, how relevant is the data for how long, looking at the ethical and responsible implications of data, is it good for my stakeholders, for my employees, my customers, my shareholders to use this data to generate a new outcome? And uh, am I working on the right things for the business? So to me, data governance has really elevated to be about business governance in a data-driven business. I think it starts with recognizing what good means. What are good outcomes for your business or your brand? Are you working to drive increased inclusivity and diversity within your organization? Are you working to retain people, to save jobs, to increase revenue, to improve cost structures of your business, to improve the welfare of your employees? Any of these things are positive outcomes. They drive business health, they drive employee experience, they drive benefit to society, whatever these outcomes are, you start with these and then work backwards to the types of analytics and the type of data and the type of decisions you need to make on how to use that data. Once you do that, you're really operating in the sense that data helps create value, value for your employees, your customers, your shareholders, your managers. It helps your business. Once you consider that, you start to make really good decisions on how to use data and what data to use.